What's up guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to easily tame a bear and you can use this method to tame lots of other stuff as long as they're as big as a bear or bigger. Um, and it's really, really simple. All you need is um, a few billboards. I've got 16 with me. I think really as long as you've got 8 to 12, that's probably more than enough anyway, but it just allows you to have a few extra if, um, if you misplace one or whatever, you've got got some spare so if you're not right next to your base you can you know you've got got some spare ones obviously um, then you just need uh, some bowlers obviously I've got 14 with me um, and then if you haven't got a bear I'm not going to use my bear that I'm on I'm going to show you how to do it um, so I can demonstrate you can do this without having a tame already um, and then you just need some honey so you need honey bow and arrow bowlers and some billboards uh, there is a bear just here somewhere. He was wondering about. I'll just go and find him. Well, I hope I can trap him here. Now, you don't need to aggro him. All you do is try and block him in with the billboards. Um, you should be able to stand next to him. Obviously, they're not aggressive as long as you don't hit him. Try and get on this side. And then this one here. Now, he shouldn't be able to get out of it, and you should be able to obviously um, shoot him with your bow and arrow. Now, if you've already got a tame, it, this is much easier to do with a tame. But I'm trying to show you this um, as if you haven't got a tame already. So, if you've got a tame, if you, for example, got on that bear and hit this bear, uh, the bear you're riding would keep the aggro, and you can bowler him off the back of the bear and then move the bear out of range um, and then when you feed the bear you're taming it won't be aggressive because you haven't got a tame if you're doing it like I'm about to show you the bear's going to be aggressive so you might get hit a few times it might even kill you so it might be a good idea to put a bed somewhere near where you're taming obviously I've got this is literally spawned right outside my base or one of my bases so if I die, I can run back from the hut there. Um, but if you get it right, it won't kill you. But you'll see people saying that if you sit in a certain position, the bear won't hit you and stuff like that. Most of the time, it don't work. I've tried so many different things that I've looked at on YouTube or read online on forums and stuff. And it does work sometimes, and if you get lucky, you can do it without getting hit but the way this game is um, if the train's not perfectly flat and there's nothing if there's anything touching whatever it is you're trying to tame chances are it'll probably be a little bit bugs and it'll be aggressive if this was dead flat and I didn't need the billboards and it was just gonna lay there you'd probably be able to feed it quite easily but most of the time stuff seems to aggravate the taming and cause issues so um yeah, it is what it is, but hopefully this will go pretty smoothly. But like I said, you just box it in in the billboards, and you can do this with anything bigger than a bear as well. Uh, you can't do it with a horse. Horse can fit underneath it. Same with tigers and lions, and I think wolves as well. But bears, elephants, rhinos, giraffes, all that stuff you can do using the billboards. And uh, like I said a minute ago, if you've got another tame, this is much easier. If you're playing with a friend as well, it's really easy. You would, one of you would shoot the bow with a bow and arrow, and your other friend would bowler it and feed it. And that way, whoever's shooting it keeps the aggro. And if you're just feeding and bowling it, you can stand wherever you like next to that bear. As long as your friend don't come too close or walk too far away, the bear will just lay there. If you walk too far away, the bear becomes unaggroed from your partner and will then obviously swipe at you if you're too close to its head. Anyway, let's uh, crack on and see what happens. Hopefully, this will uh, go smoothly enough. So obviously just keep pumping him full of arrows. Get him nice and low, ready for the bowler. I'll do one more just for luck. Let's get a bowler on him. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try and edge towards him. 
Boom, let that come up, and I'm just going to wait and edge away. And like I said, you'll see things saying to get around to the sides of them, next to their belly or whatever. I'll just see what the time is, that's 10 seconds. I'll wait for 1 minute 20 on the timer where it says boulder escape in 126 at the minute. And when that gets to 120, I'll edge my way forward like now and try and get him to eat again. Pow. There you go. And because I'm using honey, I'm getting like three in a little bit percent, I think, per time. Um, I think there's a two times weekend on right now. I think the weekend's still going. So um, I'm getting a little bit lucky here. But obviously, if you do it with berries, this is much, much slower. Oh, it got too close. I haven't seen the timer. Oh, feed honey. I've got another 20 seconds. So wait for that to get to 30 seconds. I should be able to get one more feed on him, and then we'll have to get ready to start dropping him. Pow, there we go. 20 seconds. Oh, I can get one more in if I'm lucky. So I'll try for one more. There we go. Should be in close to the timer now. Two, one. Please don't hit me. Pow, there he goes. That's him done. And we got him at 18.3% in one go. So he's level 19. I'm using honey. And I think there's a times two on. So uh, if you're replicating this and you're not getting the same result, that's probably why. Back down. Nice and low. Get my bailer out. And this time he's fell over on the other side. So I might get an issue here because his head might be in the floor. Which means I might have to get a little bit closer to feed him. Um, he's also doing the draft dancing right now. And spinning around and he has stuck his head in that sheep. Oh, I've got lucky. There we go. We can get a feed on him. I really hope this sheep don't mess things up. <laughs> but you can see, doing it like this, you can get really close to him. Like I said, just edge all close, get it to bring up the message that you can feed it, and then back away. Um, you don't need to try any of this stuff, trying to sit behind it, or sit next to its belly, or on its back, or hanging off a tree, or whatever. Just edge forwards and feed it. You will get hit sometimes. Like I said, put a bed down if you're really far away from your base. Slap a bed down on a thatch foundation next to where you're taming. So if you do get into trouble, you ain't. it's not the end of the world. Um, you can see here, look, I'm sat... He can hit me from here. I'm sat really close to him. Um, he's got a sheep sat on his head. He's got a billboard above him. And he's not hitting me. He will hit me if I get too close, like I said, and um, I, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes this game, if the billboard's too close to his face or the ground's too wonky, things trigger things on this game and make little bugs. And uh, yeah, you, if you get unlucky, it might not work as smoothly as this is working for me. But for the most part, I don't have many issues doing it like this. Let's get him back down. And it's exactly the same with a rhino or with an elephant. The draft's a little bit different because the draft bugs out quite a lot. Um, my advice for the draft, if you do it with a friend or if you do it while riding a bear, because on the bear you can um, use the bowler off of its back, I find that that stops the draft bugging out. So if you do what we're doing here and you billboard a draft in, and then you use a bear to hit the giraffe. Once it's low, bowler it off the back of the bear. Move the bear away a little bit. Not too far, but just like this out of range of the giraffe swing, basically. And then when you jump off, you can feed the giraffe. And because the giraffe's aggroed onto the bear, it doesn't do that spinny round thing that the giraffe sometimes does when it bugs out. Um, I'll do another video and show you that, um, what I mean exactly. But if you're just watching this video, that's something else you can take away from it, hopefully. And we're on the uh, we're on now the third bowler. I've lost count. I weren't paying attention. I've just been chatting. <laughs> and he's on uh, forty-seven percent at the moment. And you can actually see there that his head's in the billboard leg. So I've had issues before. Like I said, sometimes that bugs the animals out. But he seems to be fine at the moment. 
can get one more before he stands up this time. I tell you what, like I said, he's at fifty-one percent now. Uh, I can get one more feed on him, like so, and that's him done. Now I'm gonna have to take him back down, and uh, I'll get him down again. If anything else happens, I will obviously uh, bring you back in the video. Um, but if not, I will bring you back when he's about to tame out. Oh, another thing. I know I just said I'll bring you back if anything else happens or if um, we're about to tame him up. I'm crouching, by the way. This whole time I'm doing this, I'm crouched down. Um, and that seems to make things a little bit easier for getting closer to him. I find if I do it standing up, it seems to aggro him a little bit more. Um, so I always do this crouch down. I don't know whether that's actually part of the game mechanics or whether it's just a personal preference that I feel comfortable doing. But I always, always find if I crouch to feed these, I can get close to its head like I am here. If I stand up, I normally do get issues trying to feed them. But anyway, like I said a minute ago, if anything else happens, I'll bring you back. If not, I will see you when the bear's about to tame out. Right, we are on the last time around now. Oh, the bowler bugged out. That's why you always need to bring more than you think you need. Pow. Let's get crouched down, like I said earlier, and just edge towards him. Get this feed on, and it should be maybe two. Hopefully two more feeds, and he'll be tamed out. And uh, just in summary, guys, so you want... Like I said, you want at least between 18 and 12 billboards, I would say, to come and do a to tame a bear. Um, like I said, you can probably do it in, like, if you just got a perfect tame like I've had here so far, you can do it in, like, I don't know, six, seven billboards. Um, I like eight, gives you more room. Oh, shit. And, um... Then you just want some bowlers, of course. I bought 14 with me. And uh, some honey. And like I said, if you don't know where honey is near you, use uh, Search the Atlas, I think it's called. Oh, sorry, Explore the Atlas. On If you go on Google, type in Explore the Atlas, it will come up. Right, let's name him Bruce the Bear. Why not? Pow. So, uh, there you go. Pretty smoothly. I just got hit once at the end. That's the only time you hit me, I think. Always pick up your billboards because it is a pain in the ass when you're running through woodland and whatever and you run into a load of billboards that someone's left. And uh, also, you know, some people whinge about uh, the rendering on this game and things like that. If you're leaving billboards everywhere, what the hell do you expect? So pick up your mess after you. Let's um, get Bruce down here in the light. I'll tell you what, let's nick uh, Baz's saddle. So yeah, there you go. That is the easiest way to tame a bear using billboards. Like I said, you can do that with other stuff as well. You can do it at the draft, the rhino, the elephant, for example. You can do it with a bull if you want a bull. It doesn't work with a lion, a tigers, and wolves, I think. And a horse can also get underneath a billboard. I'll show you another way of taming a horse in another video. Um, and like I said earlier, with the draft, if you do go and get a draft specifically the draft, make sure that you do it with either a bear because you can bowl off its back or you do it with a friend and that will stop the draft bugging out but I'll talk about that in another video. But yeah, there's the bear tame. Uh, and just for summary, like I said a few times, you need your bowlers, so you want about 14 bowlers, that's what I take, that's normally more than enough and I have had issues before and I've had them bug out and it's not been enough but normally 14 to 16 is fine. Um, I took 14 billboards with me, I think, or 16 billboards. You probably want 8 to 12 at least for one tame, and then obviously your honey. Use crouch to get as close as you can to its head. It seems to work for me. Like I said earlier, I don't know whether that's actually a fact or whether it's just uh, a bit of superstition on my behalf. But just edge slowly forward while you crouch until you get the um, feed bear thing pop up. Obviously feed it and edge away out of range so that you don't um, cause it to go aggressive on you. And then rinse and repeat until you tame it. Like I said, if you're not lucky like me and it don't spawn next to your base, have a bed and a thatch foundation with you. So that way you can 
put a thatch foundation with a bed on it somewhere near where you're taming your bear. And that way, if you do die, you can spawn right next to, you, next to where you died and you haven't got to run for miles. Um, so that's the way I do it. Like I said, to make this even easier, if you've got a friend, split it in two, the, the jobs in two, so that one of you attacks the bear with a bow and arrow while the other one bowlers and feeds it. Make sure if you're bowling and feeding it you're not attacking it because if you do you'll get the aggression of the bear on you. Um, sometimes it's even better if one of you just shoots and bowlers it to be fair. So um, I would shoot it with an arrow and then bowler it and then my mate would sit and feed it. And that way you can sit on top of its head if you're feeding it. It don't matter where you stand. You can ride it, jump all over it, it won't matter as long as your friend doesn't run out of range of it for one thing or get too close and cause it to try and attack him. So, like I said, that's the easiest way I know to tame a bear and a few other animals. And I hope that's really helpful for you guys. If you're new to the channel, check out the rest of my content. I do survival gaming, obviously on Atlas, I do Ark. I'm going to be chucking in a few other things um, in the future. Uh, because I've relaxed on what I'm doing these days and I'm just having fun editing and recording videos. But yeah, check out the other content, see what you think, and I'll see you next time.